Have you ever wondered about the darkest corners of our universe? Today, we're going on a one-way trip into a black hole. I know it sounds scary, but don't worry, it's a journey of the mind. And if you've ever thought black holes are empty pits of nothingness, think again. There's more to these cosmic monsters than meets the eye. So, what exactly is a black hole? In the simplest terms, it's a lot of stuff, matter, squashed into a tiny area. Imagine squeezing our sun into a space as small as a city. The gravity around this space would be so incredibly strong that not even light could escape. That's why we call it a black hole, because no light gets out. We can't actually see it. Now, black holes don't just pop up anywhere. They're formed when very big stars collapse on themselves. So, if the star's leftover core is three times the mass of our sun or more, it can turn into a black hole. It's a bit like a cosmic recycling program. And you've probably heard of a guy called Stephen Hawking, right? Well, he had a lot to say about black holes. One of the coolest things he discovered was something called Hawking radiation. Even though black holes are famous for gobbling up everything that gets too close, they also leak tiny particles. These particles are like whispers from the black hole, and studying them gives us clues about what's going on inside. Okay, enough of the basics. Let's imagine, hypothetically of course, we've got our spaceship and we're heading straight into a black hole. What would happen? Would we survive? Or would we end up in an alternate universe? Welcome to Cogni Plus, where curious people like you come to hang out. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're missing out. So, click that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. First, we need to talk about the event horizon. This isn't a movie or a video game, it's the boundary around a black hole. Once you cross it, that's it. No coming back. It's a one-way trip to the heart of the black hole. As we approach this cosmic point of no return, things start getting very weird. The pull of gravity grows so strong that time itself begins to slow down. Yes, you heard that right, time would slow down. This is known as time dilation. So, if you were looking out of the spaceship window, you'd see the universe outside moving faster and faster. Days, months, years, even centuries could pass by in what feels like minutes to you. But before you start thinking about black holes as cosmic time machines, remember this. The closer we get to the black hole, the stronger the gravity. The difference in gravity between your feet and your head would be so strong it would stretch you out, like a piece of spaghetti. This might not sound too pleasant, and, well, it wouldn't be. But don't worry, it's just a thought experiment. Remember we talked about different types of black holes earlier? If you're going to get sucked into one, a supermassive black hole would be your best bet. They're at the center of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. And they're so big that you could cross the event horizon without getting spaghettified. But that's where your lucky streak ends, because once you cross that line, you're headed straight for the center. You'd eventually end up at a point called the Singularity. This is the heart of the black hole, where all its mass is concentrated. At this point, you'd be squashed into an infinitely small, infinitely dense point. And that would be the end of your adventure, at least in this universe. But wait, there's a twist. Remember we mentioned Stephen Hawking earlier? Well, he also suggested that black holes could act as doorways to other universes. So, in some other reality, you might not fall into a black hole. You could pass right by it, and instead end up in a totally different universe. That's a lot to take in, right? But don't worry, black holes are still one of the biggest mysteries of our universe, and scientists are learning new things about them all the time. And who knows, maybe one day we'll find out they really are doorways to other universes. But for now, we're stuck here in our own universe, with our own black hole at the center of the Milky Way. So next time you look up at the stars, spare a thought for the cosmic monsters lurking out there. And remember, the universe is a weird and wonderful place, full of mysteries just waiting to be discovered. And that's all for today's interstellar journey with Cogni Plus. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this trip to the black hole and share it with your friends. They deserve to know how wild the universe can be, right? Stay curious and keep exploring the amazing world of science with us. Until next time.